to drink beer, talk about beer, pour beer, but I've never actually brewed beer. And I'm way too lazy to do it myself at home, get all the equipment and the ingredients. I just come here to Newton, Massachusetts to Hopsters. Owner Lee Cooper grew up in Liverpool, England, and he's enjoyed pints all over the world. But at Hopsters, he's created a one-of-a-kind combination of a do-it-yourself brew house, craft beer bar, and neighborhood restaurant. We're in the business of letting people know where the beer comes from. So when people come to Hopsters, you can make beer, you can drink beer, you can eat great food. So we're really a sort of a custom craft brewery where you come in and you make the beer that you love to drink. We have 30 recipes of 30 different styles of beer, and when they come in, they sit down with a brewmaster, he figures out what kind of beer they want to make, which is basically what beer they love to drink, and then we go through the process. So I can choose any style of beer in this book here? Yeah, you can choose anyone you want. All right, why don't we do this one right here? The Hopster Triple Bourbon Oaked India Pale Ale. That's my favorite. Let's do it. Let's do it. I mean, let's brew it. Let's brew it. First, we head to the ingredient room where we collect, measure, crank, and crush our steeping grains. Crushing it down. This is what they mean when they say, hey, we're gonna crush a few beers, kids. We're crushing beers. Tie it up in an oversized tea bag and head on over to the kettles for a bit of a boil. I kind of feel like Walter White setting up his, his laboratory. <laughs> So in there's uh, malted barley grains, and it's really for flavor as well as color. Give it a quick stir. I like uh, exfoliating in the yeah, beer yeah, yeah. steam bath. It's nice for my It's nice, it's like a spa all in one. It's like a spa. Next comes 18 pounds of malt extract. Ooh, look at that. Actually, it tastes awesome. You're right, it's almost like a, like a combination of a caramel and a butterscotch yeah. and like a maple yeah. syrup, but it really has good, really good flavor. And then for the combination of bitterness, flavor, and aroma, we choose three distinct styles of hops. This kind of reminds me of like the, those Colorado dispensaries, if you know what I mean? We're gonna take out our steeping grains, bring it to a light boil. We're gonna stir in our extract and our bittering hops. Then we're gonna boil for a half hour. I wish you could smell this. Let me try this. And while you're waiting for your beer to boil, you can grab yourself a nice little lunch. Here they do plowman's boards, basically butcher blocks with awesome artisan meats. They're made by our friend chef Josh Smith right up the road in Waltham at Moody's Delicatessen. You have your salamis, your prosciuttos, your brujols, knockwurst, delicious. Also, of course, you're drinking good beer, you wanna have some good cheese, strongly flavored ultra creamy cheeses, some nuts, even a little cinnamon pecan swirl bread, delicious with a nice beer. Is there any more classic combination than pretzels and beer? These are big, beautiful, fluffy, buttery pretzels, nice salt on the outside, with actual beer, mustard, or even better, check this out, bacon jam, yep like a jelly made with bacon, smear it on your pretzel. Uh-huh. Oh my God! Yes, there's a lot of bacon in that. <laughs> Hold on, I need to wash that down. This is a tough job today. For a more substantial meal, get the pastrami sandwich, handmade artisan pastrami, beer mustard, sauerkraut. That's real beer drinking food. Might as well check back in on my brew because now it's time to chill it down, add the yeast, and then it's ready to ferment. Two weeks later, you come here and you don't just brew your beer, you bottle your beer. Here comes my beautiful, delicious IPA. We'll take this over to the capper, pop it in place. <laughs> How cool is that? I brewed my beer, bottled my beer, and now I capped my beer. Can't wait to uncap it. So one of the things that we really care about is having fun. If it's not fun, then why come, right? Most of the people actually come here have never made beer before and are new to the interest and the excitement around craft beer. And all our beer, Hops, is, is guaranteed to come out phenomenal. If you don't like it, we'll rebrew it for you again at no extra cost. If you don't take a class here, so it's really about coming in, getting the experience and just kind of having a lot of fun, having a few beers and experience, you know, what local beers in Massachusetts have to offer. And finally, you even get to label your own beer. It's a little. Phantom Gourmet IPA. Cheers. <laughs>